Good afternoon and welcome to the wedding of Scott and Selena. And it's my great privilege and pleasure to be with you all today, invited as I have been to share in the joy, love and commitment of this lovely couple on what is their wedding day. And uh, Selena, yeah, stunning, beautiful. Um, and welcome to our family. No refunds. Um, as I mentioned, I am Scott's older brother, uh, six years older. Uh, Scott had two nicknames growing up. Uh, one was Pud, as in pudding. More rolls and a hot dog stand. Um, good to see you filled out a bit since then as well. And the other nickname was Rambo, because he used to break everything. <laughs> Still does. Absolutely. I think it was about 1997 where myself and the Perth crew over there came into the picture and basically a lot of it revolved around KFC or you know friendships through KFC and we still most of us still really love eating KFC so I think <laughs> that journey continues. Um, we all played a lot of sport together, so we can see some common faces that played Gaelic football, uh, Irish football, for those that don't know it. We were the fittest that we had ever been, and a lot of bathing happened after football training. Selena left Perth and travelled to the UK in 2005 as a young 26-year-old looking for a new adventure. Scott arrived in the UK in 2014 as a 31 year old always on the move. They met that year in 2014 playing dodgeball. These two go, actually we're in the wrong place, we've got to go, we're going now. I know no one in London, I don't know how to get back to the house, I don't know anything. I'm like, what am I going to do? I'm going to neck this pint and I'm going to go with them. So I neck this pint and there's Selena gazing at me. And she looks at me and she goes, you and me, we're going to be friends. <laughs> and so that's how the story began. Uh, and lots of flatmates, as we all know, end up absolutely hating each other, don't they? And certainly that was the case for the flatmate, which both preceded and followed Selena. Um, but I'm here today, so... <laughs> until the end of 2016 that the relationship was started to develop. Between Scott's dodgeball talents and Selena's championship football skills, there was absolutely no stopping them. Nothing comes close. But you can't compete with arsiness and Scott is one of the arsiest people <laughs> I have ever met. If you are playing pool with Scott, and he's going for that pocket, it will bounce around the table and go in that pocket, and then he'll go, ha and really rub it in. He's a, he's a gracious winner. Needless to say, um, it's a really special day to be here and to finally see Cell actually get married. <laughs> We do approve, by the way. <laughs> True friends are never apart, maybe in distance, but never in heart. And that's how I've always felt, Sel. And, you know, it's always been amazing that you've come back and you've taken the time to spend that friendship with us, even though you've moved on with all your Londoners. And, and I've had the pleasure of meeting them, thankfully, and they are very lovely, so I can see the attraction. <laughs> January they had their first date and the rest is history. Their love of travel, fancy dress and fun continues to bring them together. In 2019 Scott proposed and it was a proposal that he had to work hard for because, <laughs> because Selena just wasn't getting the hint. Finally when he went down on one knee she said yes. It was a few years until Scott, of course, came on the scene. Sel and I lived together for about six years. 
and it was maybe seven till I started to hear Scott's name. He was on the dodgeboard, um, dodgeball tournament thing, which I wasn't part of. But she started to talk about this guy. She'd be like, this guy's so annoying. There's this guy that he just keeps following me around and he's so in love with me. And I'm like, all right, Selena, here we go again. And then finally I actually went to a dodgeball tournament and I filled in and there was this guy with his chipmunk grin and his big dimples and he was following Selena around like a crazy loon. <laughs> Luckily he persisted, she fell in love and here we are today. So. Well all of that brings us to right now and both Scott and Selena's wish for today was for a ceremony that reflected who they are as a couple. Informal, light-hearted, relaxed, and fun. I think, I think she's got many wonderful attributes. Like she's a, you know, she's a mediator when people get into fights and nights out, you know. It's like, oh yeah. <laughs> Lots of questions here tonight, Selena. Um, she's always the one that if there's a little question about the bill, she'll go into battle and fight the corner. Uh, and I've, listen, I've seen her hold back many people's hair uh, and, and rub their backs, not beat them though, um, when perhaps they've had a little bit too much uh, of an evening, because um, that's just the kind of person she is, you know. I asked Mick earlier for three words to describe Scott and he said, just say useless three times. <laughs> So, thanks for that, Mick. Um, Scott worked for a few more years in the trade um, before landing his dream job at Crown Casino, working in the bar. A great place to meet chicks and socialise, of which Scott did neither. Uh, so, he decided to pack it in, and a trip around America was the go. The plan was to land in LA, travel through the lower states, up through New York and into Canada where he'd go skiing. Uh, he arrived in LA, got to Vegas, and a few days later, he landed his dream job as a tour guide and a legal immigrant. <laughs> so with this in mind, I ask you both, do you choose to share your lives together in marriage? Do you choose to stay on this journey with each other wherever it leads, whatever the outcome, to travel through the adventure of life? Will you make the daily effort to relate and listen to each other? Gracious and generous in the giving of yourselves to each other, will you work for what is best for your relationship for the rest of your life, and we're nearly there? Do you pledge ultimately your friendship, your loyalty, and your love, and... We, we do. do. One. Some people spend their whole lives looking for their perfect job or their perfect person. After 47 jobs, I'm not sure he's done yet. <laughs> uh, but lucky enough, but he has been lucky enough to find his one perfect person half a world away. Um, I'm very proud of him because he's done what he has done and he's done it his way. Um, he's travelled, um, he's tried at hand at, at many, obviously many things. He's put himself outside his comfort zone particularly with Bubba and Pig Dog. <laughs> and he enjoys life his way. welcoming and congratulating our bride and groom as I present to you our married couple Scott and Selena. 